Andrea Curry, independent designer and crafter, as well as host of Craftastic Live. I'm really excited about ribbons because ribbons are all fun and colorful, everything I'm about, which is why I had to integrate them into a quick and easy project for greeting cards. Greeting cards project, right? So <laughs> let's show you how you can do that. Very simple and easy to do. Send out before the whole deadline for the, the holiday cards <laughs> starts creeping up on you. Okay, let's rock on over to Craft Cam and check out all of the materials you need. Not a lot of them. So this is the finish, finished project. All I used was um, a stamp pad in here, a dollar store stamp that's Happy Holidays. Actually, I think I got that at Michael's. The main ingredients, though, are going to be a whole bunch of different types of ribbon. I have a huge ribbon stash, so I just used a whole bunch of Christmas color and holiday color ribbon. The size envelope that you want, I'm using an A6, and that's what's going to fit inside here. And a couple pieces of cardstock to lay down your ribbon, then of course create your, your finished project. All right, let's just start with how you lay down ribbon. The issue with ribbon is, is do you want a bunch of gooey glue all over the place and it's seeping through your ribbon? No, you don't. That's why you're gonna use your handy dandy tape runner. I got mine at the dollar store and that one has run out, so let's rock on over to this one. And very easy to do, it's just gonna cling just enough to your paper and I'm just going kind of all around the edges at first and then I'm just going to do some stripes down the middle. It's going to cling to your paper and it's going to cling to your ribbon but it's not going to seep through which is really nice. You don't have to worry about your ribbon being super secure on this project because all you're going to do is sort of flop it down onto the photocopier and then make a couple photocopies of it. Okay so now I've just already cut out some of my ribbon pieces and I'm just gonna get crazy with how I put them on. If you want them to be really uniform, such as lines, that kind of thing, then you can do that. But I like to have sort of a crazy ribbon effect. And that means I'm gonna go kind of diagonal and I'm gonna start putting some other colors in here. I'm, I'm really just no rhyme or reason here, just going crazy with ribbon. And you're not going to need a lot of ribbon. You probably just save up some of the ribbon that you have for your holiday wrapping and then you're, you have just enough ribbon. We're just going to fill up this 8.5 by 11 sheet with all kinds of fun colors. I'm going to get some kind of nice tans in there. Of course we need our reds. That's a very festive festive design and I like these sparkly ones. The only thing to watch out for is some, sometimes photocopiers like to translate the sparkle into some sort of uh, a darker color. Even this, this kind of shiny red might actually go into a darker black color when you photocopy it. You can use your at home photocopier. My, I have a, a photocopier on my copier so I've actually used that to photocopy onto but it's just a, a matter of what you have. If you don't have that, you can go to your local printing store and that printing store is gonna be able to print this same exact design via photocopier onto some cardstock. Now I'll show you the end, the end product. You can see this piece, of, this piece of ribbon paper, we'll call it. It's kind of this wacky, crazy design, which I didn't even cut the edges off. I threw this into my photocopier and then it came out with, this is kind of the, the finished cut piece, but it came out looking like this. So let me just remove all of the actual ribbon pieces and show you what it looks like when it's printed onto the paper. So like I said, this was actually on my uh, at-home photocopier slash printer on white cardstock or cream cardstock. Very, very good. In fact, you can't really even see the printing lines. And now I have this really neat effect of my... Um, my project and it's all ribbony and pretty and all the colors of the season and all I'm going to do because I've already cut it down to my um, four and three quarters by six and a half because I'm using an A6 envelope I'm just going to fold it on over and if I had my bone folder handy I would actually kind of crease that up but I like to show how easy it is and how many tools you really don't need to have to make a very quick and easy yet festive card now, like I said, I had a dollar stamp, 
This is Happy Holidays, super easy token dollar stamp, and I have a red stamp pad. This is from Stampin' Up. Always comes in handy. And I happen to have this perfect little stripe of white ribbon right here that's just going to be the right size for this Happy Holidays message. I didn't even do that on purpose. You'll find that you'll, you'll have a lot of different opportunities to stamp on your message because you have these great lines in here. So that just happened to be how that turned out, just perfect like that. Now I have two little twins of my cute ribbon projects. If you guys want to learn more about holiday greeting cards, holiday decor, DIY stuff, please go to andreacurrycrafts.com. Check out our templates, our blog, and don't forget to come to Craftastic Live. We're here every Tuesday evening, and we have a lot of fun. All right, everybody, hope you enjoyed this very quick and fun and inexpensive craft.